We all know Wario is a rude, crude, money hungry loving villain and as usual he's returned looking to make big bucks in the newest 3DS title WarioWare Gold. WarioWare Gold is a collection of mini games formed together in quick response, fast thinking, reflex testing array that anyone can pick up and play. From its humble roots to its offbeat quirky tilt and touch controls, WarioWare Gold combines minigames from the history of the series along with various playstyles and mixes it together in a neat new package with brand new games thrown in as well. Newcomers and veterans to the series will feel right at home as it gently breaks into the mechanics over its short lived 2 hour story mode before opening the gates to a variety of challenge modes, missions and unlockables. That's right, there's a story mode, and yes, it's very, very short. For the first time in the series, Wario and his collection of oddball and quirky characters are all fully voice acted. And while it's a little strange at first, it's not long before you're giggling away at the cheesy and humorous dialogue. As for the story itself, it's not very engaging, nor did I ever feel it really needed to be. It's short and snappy and gives the characters a lot more life and personality than they've ever been given before, a touch that I felt welcoming and refreshing to the series. The minigames themselves are very familiar to anyone who's ever played a WarioWare game before. From the ever-present nose picking, skateboarding and dodging arrows, there's a lot of games taken from the previous series. However, this time they're separated into the way they're played, from normal controls called mash to tilt and touch. Personally, I like them being divided, although some challenges give you a second before yelling out which playstyle they want you to play in. These ones, well they weren't really quite as fun. The games themselves are divided into genres such as That's Life, housing games such as Teeth Brushing to Shopping, The Self Explanatory Sport and even Nintendo which covers games throughout the ages including a few that are remixed into new styles. These were personally my favourite as a long time Nintendo fan. So the story is sure, but there's still plenty more to worry about gold as it features a ton of unlockables. These are obtained from a capsule machine that uses currency earned during your normal playthroughs. Special minigames, items from Nintendo's history and one-offs such as Wario painting an amiibo that you scan, they're all real treats. However, there's some things to unlock that are pure clutter, such as text-based messages on a virtual phone. This in particular was a letdown, as the actual pieces themselves weren't even that great and what's more, they weren't even voice acted. WarioWare Gold is a return to form for Wario and his friends with a nice buff of polish on the top. Although the story mode is fun and brought new elements to the series, it's laughably short. Luckily though, there's enough content with the other modes and unlockables to save it from being anywhere near short on content. I had a blast playing the mini games in their collections and really enjoyed the extra unlockable Nintendo stuff and additional mini games. Some more multiplayer modes and some more original minigames would have been a treat, however WarioWare is still definitely one to look out for the 3DS this year and especially if you're a big fan of the series already.